So, something's piqued your interest in microwave. Before you dip your toe in, the first thing you should do is find a local microwave mentor or Elmo, because nothing beats local knowledge. Secondly, watch this video. Amateur microwave is a lot of fun. Not only will you learn new skills, chances are you'll meet a new cohort of operators. But it's not all beer and skittles. Ask yourself this before you begin your journey. Who do you know that lives in clear line of sight of you who is interested in microwave? If the answer is no one, then contacts on 2.4 gigahertz and above will be few and far between, unless you go portable. The domain of microwaves are hilltops. Few are lucky enough to operate from home. SSB is the mode. No one uses FM, well, in Australia anyway. Antennas are horizontally polarised and very, very directional. Typical antenna gain is greater than 18 dB. Panning an antenna just a few degrees off centre will result in an S9 Plus signal being virtually unreadable. This is more so the higher you go in frequency. A dish typically has a gain of 30 plus dB and a beam width of a few degrees. Fresh, super sharp. This laser sharp signal must be accurately aligned to the distant station in both the horizontal and vertical plane. Panel antennas are a little broader. Omnidirectional antennas are not used. RF power for terrestrial communications is in the order of watts. For example, 3 watts at 10 GHz into a dish with a gain of 35 dBi will produce in excess of 5 kW ERP. That's toasty, so don't stand in front of it and be careful of your surroundings. 2.4 and 5.7 GHz are in the global Wi-Fi bands. If you're in a densely populated area, the noise will destroy any weak signal. Extremely short runs of low-loss coax are critical for efficient RF transfer, so learn how to make your own custom cables. Obstacles and dirt in a microwave path will stop a signal dead in its tracks, so the use of a path-loss calculator is essential for both local and DX contacts. Enjoy your foray into microwave. Don't rush. Do your research and make smart choices. Find a local microwave mentor and ask lots of questions. There's no such thing as a silly one.